got a dream that's driven with passion Don't even get in the car if it's something you're lacking No capping, no points intended So if you're rolling with my team, we all Let's win get it. Hey, I don't hate, I congratulate nope. I don't talk down on others, grinding, I motivate I'm so awake as the world sleeping Wake up. Ironically, the one sleeping They have been peeping I've been eating Before the food vlogs Now that I got the spotlight Let's get you involved Let's get I'm involved. talking you with the small biz you. I highlight your showcase till we all big You see how that works? It's called promo, I hope you're respecting my worth Now, some of y'all don't, and I'll be knowing Later you'll see me glowing, and see this platform growing Now that ain't cockiness, it's confidence I'm trying to take it to the top, like a rocket ship So let's build, or you could do you, I do me You're now tuned in to Angela What's up everybody, welcome to another episode of Angela Eats TV Hashtag Piggy Palette Note to self, don't hurt yourself. Welcome, Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> Today is another restaurant review. And yes, it is Soul Food Sunday. And the restaurant that we are reviewing this week <laughs> is Queen's Soul Food Restaurant. What, in Charlotte, yeah. North Carolina, off of the Independence Boulevard. I'll be sure to leave the address in the description box below. Let's go ahead and say grace and get this review started. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you for this meal that I'm about to receive. I ask that you purify this meal. Lord, look upon the land and bless those that do not have. In this I pray in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen to you. Do you. What's up, everybody? I want to thank you for joining me on another episode. So, anyway, today I got some smothered pork chops, mashed potatoes. I got a roll. I got a little piece of meatloaf here. I got some cabbage. Let me show y'all. And some uh, some greens. Let's see the cabbage, the greens, the smothered pork chop, mashed potatoes, and I put a little piece of meatloaf up here and a dinner roll. On that note, pause. Mm -hmm. If you don't got a snack, go get you a snack and come right on back, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. You gonna taste that piece, Cobbler Sissy? I mean, well, I gotta eat some food first. Well, I saved you some right here. Good. I got the, well, I'll taste the meat, the meatloaf, okay? Okay. <laughs> but I um, just took a little piece of the meatloaf. I left some cabbage and greens in there. And let's just, let's see. All right. But I want to thank everybody for joining me. I got me some bottle water. Got me a little bit of hot sauce. I know y'all just seen that. <laughs> okay. So, um, thank you for watching my last video. Tom, my ride or dies. Welcome back to all my new picky palettes. Welcome to the family. <laughs> and so glad to have you. Let's get a bite. Okay. And this is not gonna work. Hold on, y'all. I'll be right back. This is what we need. <laughs> okay. Let's go in there for this pork chop. Looks good. It looks tasty. I'm gonna give y'all a close up on it. Thick, got gravy on it. Put a little bit of mashed potatoes on there. Mm -hmm. Nice and tender. This is good, sissy. Oh, good, <laughs> good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mmm. Real nice and tender. Good. Mm -hmm. Gravy got a nice flavor to it. I don't need to add nothing to it. Okay. No salt. Good. No pepper. No nothing. Okay, you guys. Let's go over here. I wonder what kind of sauce this is they putting on the meatloaf. 
what y'all having lunch today? What y'all eating on? What Sunday dinner? Y'all having a soul food Sunday? That's a pass. That's a pass. Um, meatloaf's a pass. The meatloaf is a pass because the sauce is sweet. Oh. And if something is supposed to be savory and um, and it has a sweetness to it and it's not balanced, I can't do it. And then the um, the texture. Y'all see that? Yeah. But pork chop's good. Let's try these sides. Mm. Let's try these sides. You know, some people like sweet meatloaf. I'm, I just happen to not be one of them. You know, so that's just me, okay? That's just me. Because um, let's taste the cabbage and the greens. Season well. Let me get some without the hot sauce though. The cabbage and has a real nice flavor profile to it. And it's um still has like a little bit of texture to it. And um it's not hard or crunchy or whatever, but it still has a nice bite to it. Okay, let's go and try these collard greens. Oh, collard greens is good too. I taste a little bit of sweetness in them as well. Where I should be getting more of a vinegar bite. But that's where the hot sauce come in. And then when you go ahead and just mix the cabbage along with the greens, and with the hot sauce, it just kind of pulls everything together, if you, if you feel me. But I'm coming back over here to this pork chop because this pork chop is the winner for me. I got my brother-in-law some of the oxtails and some stuffing, some yams, and what else did I get? Because it should have been three sides. Oh, and some, he got collard greens as well. How do you like the um, oxtails, brother? They're okay. They're okay? They're okay. Uh, are they seasoned well? Seasoned well. Has a good taste. Mm-hmm. Tender. So I guess we get a pass on the oxtails as well. Mm -hmm. You definitely get a pass on this uh, pork chop. She says you want to taste? It's really good. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm going to cut you a piece of there. You want hot sauce on it? Mm -mm. Oh. Yeah, I did put some mashed potatoes on it. There's your go. Cause it just tastes so good together. It's just force of habit. What you think? It is tender. Mm-hmm. I think they could have a little, a little more seasoning on the pork chop. I think it's perfect. Cause the the hot sauce is what's adding a little more flavor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah, because I should have tasted it. Well, but it's, um, it tastes. But it's it's tender. It's very it's, tender. It's very tender, and and it it tastes good. Cause I don't just have a slew of hot sauce on here. Mm -hmm. But that's what I taste most of. Yeah. Potato tastes good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.
Mm. You know, y'all, we was coming back from the restaurant. <laughs> you know, y'all, can't be in the car riding with Sissy and holding the conversation because she'll just keep on driving and driving and driving. <laughs> I said, I said, Okay, you know you live right here. I said, I can't trust you and have a conversation and why you driving at the same time. She getting that mode. And um, we going on an adventure. Mm-hmm. So, uh, and I just got here and I got landmarks. And when I see them landmarks, I'm like, hey, wait a minute. I'm gonna miss a turn. This is a turn. But nonetheless, it it be really a lot of fun. Stay laughing. Mm-hmm. But uh, we're going out tomorrow, but I think I'll be driving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, how was everybody with them? Mm-hmm. Those, those back stretches. Hmm. There's a better way. If you go past that hole. I've been down that back street. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've been down there. I wonder what that. When I had to go to the post office. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And um, I was using my navigational um, system, and it took me... Mm-hmm. And then I was um, but there's where I came out at. There's no light right there. Mm-hmm. If you go on the left, it's not the way to go. Yeah. If you go on the left, you go down the Western Capital and make the U-turn. Mm-hmm. Safest, but the uh, when you come back this way, mm-hmm. when you're coming up there, it's a right turn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I had to go left because I went to the post office. Mm -hmm. But luckily, I left at a time of day to where it wasn't just super, super busy out there because it's it's almost impossible to get across. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah. What y'all, what y'all do this weekend? Huh? Mm. So, what I give? Queens. 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 Soul food. Soul food. This is what I am gonna do. I'm going to give Queen Soul Food a pass. I'm going to go back to Queen Soul Food. And I want to see if there's a consistency. You know what I mean? Especially when, you know, you're saying, oh, you got to go try this place. You got to go try this place. And then somebody goes and try the place. And the food is not being prepared um, to taste. Uh, good on a consistent basis. Like, uh, you know, like, you know, um, maybe there's a different cook in there. You know, who knows? Um, I can honestly tell you, though, I'm not going to lie. I felt rushed. Now, I will will say that. They wasn't wasn't rude. 
you know, but I just, I felt rushed, especially to be in a, in, a, in a location or a new place for the very first time in trying to get a grasp of the menu. And yes, I did study the menu for a week or a week prior before um, we went there. But then when I got there, you guys seen the previews, the, the previews in the video, you know how it is, it's set up like a um, buffet style. You know, and that kind of threw me off a little bit. So, but um, like I said, I enjoyed the pork chop. I like the greens in the cabbage. I like the mashed potatoes. Even the roll is good. Sissy's not eating the um, peach cobbler because she has to put something on her stomach. And brother says the oxtails are okay. So that's where we're gonna go with that. Okay, okay. But on that note, you know what time it is. Psych. Don't forget to <laughs> don't forget to subscribe subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and share the video because sharing is what caring. Sharing is caring. I want to thank you guys for joining me on today. I truly really appreciate you. And like I said, on each and every video, if you find, have some new places that you want me to go check out that's in the North Carolina um, area, uh, just hit me up in my DMs or hit, uh, put it down in the comment section below and I will get there. Shout out to Walmez because we are going to, what is that one? East Freak, East Freak and Hathaways. The East Freak was the, uh, the second one that I had. Uh, that was sent to me. Oh, okay. Yeah, someone wants me to go to Hathaway's Chicken and Biscuits. Hathaway's is good. <laughs> so we'll be doing those two restaurants this week coming. Um, Cause I kind of want to do a breakfast um, sandwich. So. I don't know which one's gonna come first, but um, Hathaway's is good. If my brother-in-law say Hathaway's is good, Hathaway's is good. Okay, Team Picky Palace, let me take one more bite. I'm full, but my batch potatoes is gone anyway. And I have a bone, so see y'all, I ate. See, sissy, this is a bone. See that? That's a bone. That's a nice looking pork chop. Mm-hmm. I like the coloring on the inside and everything too. Mm-hmm. But like I said, I'm gonna give him a pass. And I'm gonna go back. Cause you can't play with people's soul food. You know, because mm -hmm, you got a little sweetness to the greens, huh? And I have never been to a soul food restaurant. Never. Really? Really? Never. Never. Mm -hmm. First time. There was something that we had. Wow. Well, we gotta get this to a soul food restaurant because uh, she didn't get anything. Well, she got some peach cobbler. But. Again, thank you guys. Now, you know what time it is. Yes, you know what time it is. If you're happy and you know it, what do you know about that? Hmm. And as the saying goes, you can like me, you can hate me, you can love me, you can totally ignore me. But whatever you do, you introduce me to somebody. But before all that, you do you. Because I'm damn sure doing me. Boom. <laughs> I'll see you on the next episode of Angela East TV. Mm -hmm. Deuces. <laughs>